Hello, welcome to DS Database's iEdge updating tutorial. Today we will teach you how to update the bootstrap for the iEdge, basically making it functional, making the iEdge functional. So I am Pharaoh's Visor from DS Database and the iEdge used in this video was provided by our sponsor for CoolDay.com, so be sure to visit them if you plan to buy an iEdge. So moving on, the iEdge is the DSi version of the Edge, and it works on the DS Lite as well and all the other DS models, but you'll notice that the iEdge comes completely blank and it is fully updatable, which is a double-edged sword because if you buy an iEdge, it works for a DS Lite, but you'll still have to go through this update process. Going to a DS or the Edge DS website, they have a reference manual in the download section that will teach you how to update the bootstrap. But it seems a lot of people are having problems, so I guess it's not written very well, but I did it just fine. So if you don't understand anything on this video, feel free to message me, but also read the reference manual. It's helpful. Now, on the download section of the website, they have iEdge, Edge, and Common Downloads. So, it pays off to browse our website a little. They have programs that will let you play media files. They have a skin editor and a cheat editor. But today, our main concern is with the Bootstrap Updater, and thankfully, the Edge team has provided it in three flavors, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X. It's pretty considerate of the Edge team to provide three separate downloads or for all three different OS's because most flashcards tend to ignore the Linux and Mac crowd. You'll see that I've already downloaded a copy. It's a RAR file, so you'll need WinRAR, www.winrar.com, to open it and I've downloaded the Windows version, the Mac and the Linux version should be the same or, well, similar. And I'm just dragging it out onto my desktop right now. When you run it, you'll see that you have to select a drive, but also a ROM, Puzzle Series Volume 3 Sudoku. And while it is not encouraged to pirate, it is necessary for the iEdge, so be sure to delete the game right after you use it. The README file provides more information about how to track down the game. The release number is 0363, so that should help some of you track it down. And once again, I've pre-downloaded it already. So moving on, you select your drive on the iEdge boot update, and then you select your ROM on the second little bar here and well over here you go to find your game and then you click update. It's pretty straightforward goes through really fast, done and basically your memory card still looks empty but it has the files necessary so be sure not to erase anything or put anything on your micro SD before and after this update until you are completely done. So I'm going to move along to splicing my next video now. So welcome back to uh, our iEdge updating process and between the two video splices as you can obviously tell I have done nothing with this micro SD. You'll see that on if you put in the empty iEdge cartridge into the DSi. Now, uh, let's see. You'll see that it says iEdge instructions. What it's supposed to say is something like read instructions or something, but I guess I messed up. The idea is that the iEdge is completely empty and hopeless without you updating it. So, what you have to do is go through the process on the computer 
to put their program onto a micro SD. And here's mine. It's a two gig micro SD. And you stick it into the eye edge over here. And you put it straight back into the DSi. When you turn it on, you'll see that the eye edge begins blinking. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but the LED starts to blink and you just wait. It is blinking faster and faster and basically updating. And it just stopped. So you'll see that nothing's changed until you restart the eye edge. So remember this icon. You take this memory card out. I've prepared my um, personal memory card with the eye edge files already. So this would be this would have the edge folder and the the files necessary for the edge to run. And let's turn it back on. And ta-da, you see it says Sudoku Hudson. That is the ROM that we put into the cart and ta-da, when you first boot the edge, it'll ask you what language and let's go through the settings too. Uh, all right, looks fine. And yeah, this is actually the first time I've seen it as well. And the famous Edge menu or Cyclo DS menu. And you see, it works fine. Keep in mind that the I Edge comes completely empty. So regardless whether you have a DSi or a DS Lite or a 1.3 DSi, you will have to go through this process. It makes me wonder what the point of advertising this cartridge as an easy to use thing is for. I suppose going through this pro process was a lot easier than going through the process for a Supercard DS1 or an M3i0. This one, you just had to run the program on the computer and it would all work. But it still, it's not good that you have to run it regardless of what DS model you have. So if you do have a DS Lite, I highly recommend just going for the original Edge so you don't have to go through all this hassle. And yep, so this should be all that there is to updating your eye edge. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or email me or be sure to go on the website www.dsdatabase.org for any questions at all because not only I can help you, but our whole community can. And lastly, if you are buying an edge, please Buy it from our sponsor, www.forcoolday.com. That is four, as in the number four, cool, C-O-O-L, day, D-A-Y, dot com. They sell it probably the cheapest around, and they have great service. Thank you.